Many Final Fantasy fourteen players claim that enduring the first 100 hours of the MMO is worth it, but as someone who has gone through it, I can say it's an exaggeration. Skipping to Heaven's Word, the popular expansion is a viable option to avoid feeling deceived. The games below are worth recommending despite taking a long time to enjoy with caveats. Endless games like MMOs, idle games, and live service games are excluded. Single player story games are straightforward inclusions, but strategy and sim games can also fit. Our accounts are subjective, but I've chosen games where doing almost everything is recommended. Embrace the journey as we explore the longest games worth playing. So here are the nine very long games that are actually worth your time. First on the list, Divinity. Original Sin 2, Divinity. Original Sin 2 is often hailed by players as the ultimate recreation of a tabletop RPG in the world of video games. With its richly crafted characters, immersive quests, and open-ended turn-based combat, this party-based RPG has garnered praise for its intricacy and dynamic world where player actions truly matter. Boasting an overwhelmingly positive rating on Steam with over 100,000 reviews, it's clear that the game has won over the hearts of many players. However, it's worth noting that Divinity Original Sin 2 is not a short game, especially if you choose to play it in co-op mode. It may have a slow start and feel overwhelming in the beginning, but once you find your rhythm, the hours quickly fade into the background. Despite its length, this exceptional game is often considered worth every minute by those who have played it. This game is approximately more than 100 hours long. <laughs> On to our second game, Persona 5 Royal. The Persona series has a reputation for taunting JRPG curious players with its seemingly endless length. Persona 5, in particular, is hailed as the quintessential JRPG, incorporating lessons from the genre's history with modernized tactics. Its stylish presentation, outstanding soundtrack, and charming cast of characters make it a standout title. However, to fully experience all that the game has to offer, you must be prepared to commit over 100 hours of your life to it. Despite its length, Persona 5 is filled to the brim with inventiveness that sets it apart from other games in the genre. The surprisingly dynamic turn-based combat requires you to keep momentum and strategize efficiently, rewarding clever tactics and deep knowledge of your characters. Beyond combat, you also get to explore both the mundane hallways of the main character's high school and the dreamlike dungeons in its warped labyrinths. Yes, Persona 5 is a long journey, but it's a journey that's undoubtedly worth it for those who are willing to invest the time and effort to fully immerse themselves in its unique world. This game is approximately more than 100 hours long to finish. You took everything from us! For our third game, Dwarf Fortress. Similar to Crusader Kings 3, Dwarf Fortress is a game that requires you to meet it halfway. Even after years of playing, dedicated players continue to discover new features and stories to share, making it a game that keeps giving as you invest more time into it. Dwarf Fortress is unparalleled in its ability to create legendary scenarios. Your crew of dwarves is thrust into a world of endless, procedurally generated adventures and dangers, with factions, wars, history, and prophecies all coming into play as you navigate its complex systems to survive. Despite its seemingly infinite length, Dwarf Fortress meticulously builds an experience that is truly unique and unmatched by any other game. Its depth and complexity provide an immersive and engaging gameplay experience that keeps players coming back for more, constantly pushing the boundaries of what is possible within the game's vast and dynamic world. This is approximately 100 hours long to finish. Next game, The Witcher 3. The Witcher 3 is worth every minute of its playtime. This 
dark fantasy epic is a masterful RPG set in a stunning open once. world. While the combat may feel a bit loose initially, it offers incredible depth for those willing to invest in mastering its intricacies. The game is packed with an abundance of quests, many of which boast writing and storytelling on par with main quests in other games. The Witcher 3 is a remarkably cohesive experience, drawing players in with its immersive world of Novigrad and Skellige, where slaying monsters and solving problems abound. With its richly detailed world and engrossing gameplay, The Witcher 3 is the kind of game that can easily consume hundreds of hours of your time, rewarding your commitment with a satisfying conclusion to your playthrough. Few other games demand such a significant time investment and then go above and beyond to deliver a payoff that truly exceeds expectations. Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Next game, XCOM 2, The Long War Mode. The Long War Mode for XCOM 2 may feel like a bit of a cheat for this list, but it's truly in a league of its own. This mod takes Firax's already solid tactics game and injects it with unparalleled complexity elevating the gameplay to new heights. It's worth noting that the Long War 2 mode is primarily designed for experienced players of XCOM 2. The mod doesn't hold your hand and explain itself, so you'll need to rely on your existing knowledge of the base game. However, the changes it introduces to units, enemies, and mission structure demand an entirely fresh approach and strategy. Missions now come in varying degrees of severity, forcing you to carefully manage your squads to survive. With an increased number of dice rolls, the game is flooded with smaller yet impactful decisions. Additionally, each mission requires you to build and defend a resistance camp in different areas by gathering intel, adding a four times element to the XCOM experience. If you missed XCOM or found XCOM 2 to be lacking in strategic depth, installing the Long War 2 mod and embarking on a campaign is well worth it. Prepare for a challenging and rewarding gameplay experience that will put your strategic prowess to the test. Expose the aliens' true agenda and renew humanity's will to fight. On to our next game, Elden Ring. Elden Ring rightfully earned the title of our Game of the Year for 2022, and for good reason. It seamlessly integrates the weighty combat mechanics that the Dark Souls series is known for, pitting players against both breathtakingly beautiful and utterly horrifying beasts of the lands between. From exploring dungeons, caves, and cities to interacting with a cast of wise and eccentric characters, Elden Ring offers nearly everything one could desire in a dark fantasy RPG. With its punishing combat and sprawling world, Elden Ring can easily consume hundreds of hours of gameplay for those who are willing to thoroughly explore and master its challenges. The more time you invest, the more you uncover the forbidden, hidden depths of the world that feel as though they were off-limits. But the game consistently rewards your efforts with stunning landscapes and game-changing items that alter how you engage with its mechanics. Elden Ring beckons players into one of the most awe-inspiring and imaginative fantasy worlds in gaming, making it a true invitation to a grand adventure. Emboldened by the flame. Crusader Kings 3. Measuring the length of strategy games can be a tricky task. A campaign can range from a single day of gameplay to weeks of immersive engagement, depending on how deep you want to delve. Crusader Kings 3 and its predecessors take the crown as strategy games that can easily become as time-consuming as a full-time job. The approach to starting a Crusader Kings game has remained relatively consistent. Begin in Ireland and let the events unfold from there. While such open-ended advice can be a bit daunting, the true joy of Crusader Kings lies in watching your dynasty evolve over the years and witnessing the drama that unfolds around you. 
It's a game that weaves the most outrageous tales of rebellious royalty, daring assassinations, and unexpected sieges. But it requires you to accept that you won't grasp every aspect of the game right away and to fully embrace the captivating events that transpire. And your dynasty will rule this land through the ages. Stardew Valley Stardew Valley has earned its status as a classic game that can easily consume your life. It's the ultimate life simulation experience, and that's even before you delve into the world of modding. This charming pixel art game invites you to grow your own farm, meet new people, and contribute to rebuilding a town. It offers flexibility, allowing you to play at your own pace, whether you prefer a leisurely approach or a fast-paced challenge. However, at its core, Stardew Valley is designed for you to luxuriate in investing many hours of gameplay. While there are other similar games on Steam, Few of them capture the magic of Stardew Valley in making every activity feel meaningful without descending into mundane chores. The joy lies in witnessing the progress you've made and gradually branching out into new projects, all while maintaining a pacing that keeps the game engaging and never monotonous. So don't be intimidated by the hour count. Stardew Valley is the perfect game to play if you want to see the fruits of your efforts reflected in a truly meaningful way. For our last game, Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. Party-based RPGs in the tradition of Baldur's Gate are notorious for their length, and Divinity Original Sin 2 is a prime example. The Pathfinder games also boast extensive gameplay, with complex leveling systems that require min-maxing for a diverse cast of characters, and management systems that add an entire separate layer to the game. In Wrath of the Righteous, the management tier takes on a new level as you command a crusade across a demon-infested land, working towards the ultimate goal of sealing the world wound. You'll make decisions on what to build in liberated settlements, respond to the requests of citizens, and send out armies to engage in a unique combat system that differs from the one you'll use when leading your own party of adventurers. Thankfully, if you're not keen on the crusade management aspect, there are plenty of settings to tweak and no shame in lowering the difficulty level. This allows you to focus on the other side of Wrath of the Righteous, where you'll gradually become a mythic hero with godlike powers. You'll have the opportunity to choose between paths that may transform you into an angel, lish, cosmic time judge, fairy-powered superhero, or even something even more extraordinary. I'm intrigued, upstart commander. What will you do with your powers? Who will you side with? What will you become? And how will you treat mere mortals? What are your thoughts on this video? Do you know any games that will fit into this list? Tell us in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more gaming news and updates. Because life is incomplete without fun and games. Game on!